hi everyone this is Chiso mobile and i welcome you to another interesting tutorial okay so in today's tutorial we're going to basically learn how to create good backgrounds on pixel lab all right i noticed a lot of designers especially smartphone designers struggle a lot when it comes to creating good backgrounds with their smartphone especially on pixel lab all right so today i'm going to basically walk you through how to create good and functional backgrounds on pixel lab all right so please before we continue do subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be dropping videos every week so please for you to get updates for you to get um notified on any video i drop you have to subscribe to my youtube channel and then also turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop any new video you can easily get access to it all right so um let's get into it so i've noticed that one of the things you have to pay attention to when creating designs or if you really want to spice up your design or get creative or more creative you should pay attention to the kind of backgrounds you use all right so pixel lab has its own limitations but in as much as it has its limitation we are still able to create a lot of good stuff using pixel lab all right so in today's video i'm going to basically walk you through how you can put things together for you to get a good background on pixel lab all right so i'm going to start with the really simple one before we move to a more um not difficult anyway but a more um complex background all right so um let's start already so um instead of it's advice that designers should stick to or uh, if not it's not compulsory anyway it's not compulsory or you don't need to do it always but you want to create good background for your e-flyers it's advice instead of using something like this you can decide to go for a gradient so instead of using i i can decide to sometimes instead of using just a plain blue color like this i can decide to just to spice it up i can decide to use this okay so this is actually a monochromatic color scheme it's basically if you don't understand what a mo it's uh, if you don't understand what a monochromatic color scheme is it's basically a combine one color with different shades and tints or tints of the color so if i have blue like this if i have blue oh, okay let me say i have something like this something like this if i come here and add a shade of this this color that's something darker and then i come here and add maybe something more darker okay this is basically called a monochromatic color scheme okay a situation whereby you have one color and you add the different shades and tints of the color okay so this is this, this is a color now this a mo monochrome means one so this is one color but then you add a different shades of the color okay when you add black to a color it means you are adding shade okay when you add white to a color it means so from here now i added white to get this i added another white to get this so if you are going up i added it a tint it's called a tint i i um, added white to form them but then if you are going down i actually added black to form them so from this one i added black to get this i added black to get this so um that is basically how to form monochromatic color so instead of using just a single color from this one so instead of using this as my background i can decide to create a monochromatic color scheme using uh, create a, a monochromatic color um background using this given color here okay so i'll go to my gradient then this is two slide gradient all right so you click here you click here and then you click on eyedropper 2 which is um, also called color picker okay okay we let's let's change these colors from here let's change this one from here then let's change this one from here too all right so let's go back to creating the 
background using this color scheme this monochromatic color scheme so go go to gradient this is a, a two slide gradient you can decide to add another one but i don't want to add another one. i want to make use of two so minus so here i'll have to add this particular color i selected this dark one this dark one here all right then i'll come over here and select something like this i select the other one maybe this lighter one okay you see i just formed a background using this i can decide to use this for my background instead of just using a plain green okay this is this is a kind of background you can start using for your designs all right so i can decide to use this for my design i think it would actually look better than just using um, a regular um green color but then there are times you stick to just a plain color anyway there are some designs that you'd want to create that you don't need to start adding all of this okay so this gradient color actually comes in handy when you you um maybe you you feel like stylizing your background or getting your background look more attractive all right so that's basically it for this one and then let's go back to this color here i want to use this color to um i want to use it to make reference to something okay so having this color like this the other things you can actually add to this background to spice it up something like a shape here i know a lot of persons don't make use of this all right so um when you click on shape here you click on circle you select this circle then you turn off the opacity and then you come to stroke and increase the stroke to the highest you drag it so that the stroke forms a circle all right when the stroke forms a circle you come back to gradient here and click on the same color you used okay you can decide to click on this plus and increase the brightness just slightly all right just slightly okay you do something like then you go down to radius and increase the size increase the blur radius all right did you see the effect it actually has on the background now okay so you can decide to bring it here so this is one of the things i use in forming my background all right i can decide to keep this one here create another one put it here and put another one here did you see how or the, the the thing i created now using this um, effect okay so this is this is how my background is looking now it's more like a gradient a background anyway but then it's looking more spiced up all right so if i use this for a design now it would really look amazing so another thing you can do is um there's this leave effect okay i'll drop the link on the description so we can easily um download it there all right so um this is what i want to i want to add is a leaf i want to use this particular leaf to form or to create another effect all right so let me increase the size then i'll come to i'll come to opacity here i reduce the opacity to the highest then i'll come to shadow here i'll add a shadow then this shadow i'll click here i want to reduce the opacity of the shadow i'll click here and drag the opacity slide i'll drag it down all right then i'll increase the blur reduce okay still much still more this is, is um a lot much more visible so let's drag it down okay and then we put it here we've created a unique background you can even sometimes you can even decide to take it down but then i would prefer you i'll i'll use this like this i would actually use this like this all right so another thing you can do maybe you don't want this leaf to show everywhere you can decide to come here and add vignet then select the color on the background darken it a bit and then just reduce the alpha a little bit all right so another thing you can add is this particular thing here this is a texture you can decide to add texture to your background all right so 
you remove the black color then you can decide to make it the same color make it blue but then this should be a lighter blue all right so can you see that it's looking really nice so you can decide to let's take it up you can decide to reduce your opacity just slightly and then for this you can decide to remove this and have only the texture and the background you created can you see that it's looking really really nice okay so anything you want to add here will really look nice all right so let me say design okay let's create kind of sometimes you can use this and form your background i also use this a lot for my background okay Go ahead and merge everything. Okay, then you come over to this and and use perspective. okay he's not he's not really it's not compulsory you use design okay it's not compulsory you use design okay you can use any other thing you want to use maybe um, if it's a copywriting class you can decide to use copywriting okay then i just took it to the back now and you can decide to reduce your opacity then you have that effect there all right so i do this a lot for my designs too so it depends on what exactly i want to achieve all right so it depends on what i want to achieve all right so if i i don't i don't know if i i actually do not have anything i want to design now but then if i want to design anything you see i have a good background to begin with all right <laughs> okay so um let me see so let's say you want to design something like this um this is is what it's a illusion i guess yeah this is illusion um so i should be right so let's say we want to design for a cosmetic brand cosmetics so let's add paddling because this text is not showing fully So let's say we want to tell people to buy their cosmetic product. So you can say buy your buy your buy your um your original and 
original and um original and uh, cheap and original okay you see we actually not working with any brief that's why i'm actually thinking of what to write here okay as i mean we have a brief we are working with we can decide to use it for the design okay but i just want to show us how to create good backgrounds on pg11 how we can use it in any design we are creating i didn't plan to actually create any design using this but apparently we are already creating design okay so i just wanted to prove that when you have a good background you can actually inspiration will actually come or we enter your head okay so sometimes most of what you need is just a good background okay buy your cheap and original cosmetic products okay let's say we have products here let's say buy your original cosmetic products cosmetic products so buy your good and original cosmetic product and come over here and decide to add if we do this then apparently we are going to have to re remove Okay, so let's say we have something like this. We have something like this, and um, maybe when you start stylizing, because this this shouldn't be everything, all right? You can decide to add some leaf. Okay, I don't have any leaf yet to add, so apparently I won't be able to add a leaf because I don't have a leaf yet to add okay but for a cosmetic um, brand there is no point adding a texture to the background okay you can just decide to leave it like this okay so another thing you can do here is to add flea effect flea effect is gotten by just clicking here clicking here on clicking here on um stickers Okay, when you click on stickers you you please one of the things people don't know is when you click on stickers and okay it from here it disappears the flea effect disappears so when you click on stickers just tap on the background okay then i want to change it to blue color let's change it to this blue can decide to bring it here and maybe take it to the back can do it again take it to the back okay did you see that effect it just created okay so that's also part of it all right so you can also add that to um create your good background okay so just anything you want to achieve you can achieve it on pixel lab there are a lot of stuffs here any background there are a lot of stuff you can do to have really amazing backgrounds on pixel lab all right which this is one of them all right so um i look forward to you creating good backgrounds on pixel lab all right good gradient and monochromatic color um background using pixel lab all right so please do subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting tutorials all right thank you